Hello Virgo! I am Eva at Mungadas Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about what they are not telling you, what they are hiding from you. And uh, this can be your reading if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. So let's find out about your person. What is it that they are showing to you right now? either energetically or in the physical, what is it that they are actually showing you, telling you? What is it? Solitude. Right. With joy at the bottom. So your person is showing you that they are completely happy. They, um, this solitude can be that they withdrawn then and their energies from you and um, it could be a separation no contact situation even a third party situation they could be happily living their life whatever situation they are in without you that's what they are showing that Virgo I am happy everything is fine nothing to worry about it's all cool so you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo straight away. Now let's look into what they are hiding. What is it that they are not telling you, not saying about the situation? What is it that they are not telling you? It could also be Virgo that you are together and they are kind of uh, going into their cave very quiet and showing like, that everything is fine. But you might be feeling like there is something behind the situation with it, which isn't fine. <sighs> Four of Pentacles. So behind this facet, this facade, sorry, that they are putting up, there is this Four of Pentacles energy which is called consuming in this deck and the bottom of the deck is crisis, the tower. So there is something definitely is stirring, stirred up inside of them and uh, they are um, craving something. They um, are completely uh, yearning out of balance. Uh, something really is moving inside of them and this is to do with love this is the lovers you could be dealing with a gemini or an aries so tell me about this consuming what is that about this yearning feeling the labor of love departure and anxiety so they are trying to focus on work and moving on from an emotionally uh, a very powerful situation and they feel anxiety. So at night they don't sleep much. This is uh, working through their system all the time, this yearning, this craving, this um, feeling that they need your energy. So this is more likely to be a separation, no contact situation or a, a full on breakup. So that it feels like this breakup is running um, in the background, like in a computer software all the time. They are constantly, when they have a moment, they constantly think about it. They really try to focus on work. They really try to move on from this. But at least at night, they are really um, overwhelmed by what happened and replaying possibly the, the breakup. Okay, you could be dealing with the Pisces. So let's see. What is this that they are keep running in their head? What happened and what eats them up? Heartbreak, yeah, and grief. Three of swords, ten of swords. Absolutely heartbroken. Oh, 
Okay, so they are showing you that they are all, they are fantastic. They withdrew from you and it's, their life is perfect. It's nowhere near perfect, Virgo. They really are feeling your absence, big time. And uh, they are thinking about you. They are not truly letting you go. Knight of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, they may let you go physically, but in their thoughts, in their heart, you are there all the time. Okay. And why this happened is because they could not choose you. Satisfaction, intention, it's the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. They are not in the position of being with you. They are not single. They, they wanted to get what they could from the situation with you but the reason why it did not work out because you you knew you sensed high priestess with the five of cups that they are not going to choose you and that's why it ended that's why um this heartbreak happened okay you could be dealing with a cancer so it does feel like very one-sided in a sense that they wanted to get something from you and only that something they wanted the game, the play, the thrills of the chasing, and I don't know. And um, now you are not there. They are trying to make it, like fake it until they make it, that they are happy. But this is a very strong emotional uh, river here and a storm brewing inside of them. <clears throat> Sorry. So let's see, what do they think about you right now? Understanding the star that, well, partially that you will understand why they not did not choose you. And also they feel that you are... Um, someone almost like out of this world, someone they never met before. Okay, how they feel about you. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, competition at the bottom. Competition. <laughs> I would love to have a reading when these two cards are not showing up. Can we please once have a reading like that, Spirit? Seven of Swords and the Five of Wands. Yeah, they are hiding behind this. Um, so... What I feel, this card is called, it's two pages. Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Honesty and Scrutiny. And there is the, the emphasis on the honesty here. And I feel it could be that they never actually told you that they will commit to you. But they can't stop watching you, can't stop keeping tabs on you. And they are hiding their true feelings from you. 
they are showing also this competition energy um, as if you are threatening their reputation or I don't know what that is but they see you opening your wings and flying high and um, they do have integrity this is the king of wands but for you they only show up as the knight of wands so that's the not choosing you but they are competing with you this could be going back to past lives in ancient Egypt. There is lots of pride um, there with this Leo energy, a need for validation. And you are flying, you are achieving things, you are, I don't know, doing something that they may be jealous of. Uh, so that's the competition part. Or they could be jealous that they have other responsibilities and they can't focus on their past the way you do. I, I don't know. Something along those lines. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. So what they are hiding is that they adore you they have feelings for you they are absolutely broken hearted um, they would like to be like you are so they are putting out this facade of everything is fine i am happy this is what i want but inside they are really really suffering okay so what is their intention towards you what is their intention towards you perfection queen of swords and balancing justice okay i do feel that um this queen of swords is again the egyptian energy like uh, something will show up as clarity in their life about you about the situation about the two of you and um, this justice card the balancing Libra energy. Timing is also showing up. Seven of Pentacles. Like um, in time, they may be able to get what they want, but it can be a long time. So for now, I fear that they are just watching you. They don't have actual actions towards you. Their intention is to see clearly what it is between the two of you. What is it? Why they are so broken hearted? Why they just can't move on from you? They absolutely want to find their own balance. And um, it's almost like they gave it to the universe. If it meant to be, it will come back in time. What is this timing energy about? Change, the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Pentacles, be here and now. So, uh, yeah, that's what I felt earlier. For now it's over, but they fear that maybe in the future there could be something about this. For some of you it's a Twin Flame connection, higher learning, dance, Wisdom Keeper is the Hierophant. Dance is the Four of Wands. Um, so 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's how it feels like. It ended, but there might be more at one point. Unsure when. It may not be the end. They are really craving your energy. Find it difficult to move on. Okay, what is um, the advice from the runes, Oracle? Mannas. Well, this is about self-development, source searching, cooperation. This is this is actually the magician card in the Rider Waite that is it is connecting with, and uh, this is very interesting because there are three faces for this person here. Um, it's like uh, <laughs> when I am reading for clients and there is a question, and sometimes spirit has so much fun saying yes no maybe is the answer so <laughs> that's exactly what i am feeling with this card like um, if you two are doing the self-development source searching moving forward on your paths at one point you might be guided towards each other because you are like yin and yang sun and moon and um, you may be able to find some common ground like the cooperation and uh, this is also called humanity and mankind so um, spirit really is saying it's up to you guys what you want to make of this if you want to give it another try yeah go ahead if you feel like this is the end and uh, you won't be able to find a solution in this lifetime then no it won't work and um, it's like you both have free will find out what you truly want from this and they need to do the same so it is time for self-development maybe this enormous pain they are handling right now will break through I mean, like, their shell might break. Honesty. Breaking the shell. Starting a new uh, cycle within themselves, which will help them move forward on their awakening journey. And things will look different because there the competition will disappear. And uh, what's left is maybe what they truly want in life so Virgo it feels like that what they are hiding is uh, this enormous pain the fact that they would like to be like you are they would love to um, get access to you again but right now they're Priority is to find the balance within, understand the connection, and maybe one at one point in the future they will revisit this, or you will. I'm not sure. So Virgo, this is what I have for you. I am going to continue. Taurus, uh, you could be dealing with, and also Sagittarius. Um, so I am going to continue this on Patreon and see more about this connection because it could be a twin flame connection. It could be a very intense soulmate uh, connection. So um, let's uh, see what a uh, spirit can reveal to us about this. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye for now.